Anybody can be as close to God as they want to. It all depends on how much time you're willing to put into it. Anybody can make an adjustment here today and say, from now on, God, you're going to be first in my life. You're not going to be second. You're not going to be third. You're not going to be after my job, after this, after that. You're going to be first. And I don't care what else has to be cut out. You're going to be first. God is before my ministry in my life. He's before everything else. And the more I learn that, the happier I get. Relationship with God is not supposed to be a burden. It's supposed to be a lot of fun, joyful. And, and I'll tell you something that has happened to me over the 40 years that I've been serving God. And if you're not here, I pray that something I say today will help you get there. I am just really comfortable with God. I mean, I'm just comfortable with the Lord. I don't feel like I have to pretend. I don't feel like I have to put on airs. I don't feel like I have to try to impress him. God has taught me, Joyce, I knew what I was getting when I got you. And there is nothing that you do that will shock me. Because I already knew every wrong thing you were going to do before you ever did it. I know every word in your mouth that you have not yet spoken. And I know every thought that you have not yet let drift through your mind. And I love you anyway. Amen. And I felt like God told me a while back, I was, I was trying to change something. He said, you know, I like you just the way you are. Now, you see, you don't know what to do with that. <laughs> One man over here went. <laughs> yeah, he likes you just the way you are. I didn't say he likes all the stuff we do that's wrong, but he likes you. There is a difference. You've got to separate your who from your do. I am a child of God. I don't always do everything right, but I've got some good news for you. I'm not where I need to be, but thank God I'm not where I used to be. Yeah. Woo. And I'm going to celebrate my progress because it makes the devil mad when you celebrate. I don't know if you know it or not, but God likes a party. I mean, you go read the Old Testament. They were commanded to have parties. It was not an option. And they had long parties, week-long parties, several-day parties. I mean, they party. <laughs> and I love the story about what we call the prodigal son, but really that story is just as much, if not more so, about the elder brother. And the elder brother was a religious guy. He didn't know how to enjoy life. When the son came back, the father was so overwhelmed and so full of joy that the first thing he wanted to do was have a party. And I love this. Don't miss what I'm going to say. The elder brother refused to go in. <laughs> he stayed outside and had a bad attitude. But you know what I noticed? That didn't keep God from throwing the party. And here's the thing I want you to know, God's got a party going on. And even if you don't want to come, there is a party going on, and I've decided to go to mine. I'm going to the party. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to enjoy my husband. I'm going to enjoy my kids. Jesus came that we might have and enjoy our lives and have it in abundance to the full until it overflows. Come on, if you want to make the devil mad, just get happy. Just get happy. You say, well, how can I be happy with all these problems? Well, you better learn some way to get happy with problems because you're likely to have some all your life. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.